Hi, I hope you're well and you're having a good morning and you've had a good rest uh, last night. I wanted to come on and share Esther 8 from verse 20. And if in your own time, you'll read from verse um, uh, uh, 20. Yeah, verse 20 onwards, um, you'll, you'll read that story, it's such a blessing. And in short, it's where Haman's plot against Mordecai uh, and the Jews is back, completely backfired on him and his family. And the king learns about the uh, plot of Haman and ends up being hung on the gallows of the very gallows that he prepared for Mordecai, the Jew, um, is the very gallows that God made him you know, because because of his wicked plan against Mordecai, and Mordecai wasn't deserving of he was a, a good man, and so he ended up being hung on the gallows that was meant for that he set up for and commanded to be built for Mordecai. He hung on those gallows, and there was backfire on him and his family. And the king um, ordered that the very thing that he ordered and planned for Mordecai. These are the king's words. If you read the story, let it return back on his own head. And I wanted to share this, um, you know, because as a child of God, if you're someone that's repented and given their heart to Jesus, and you've entrusted your heart to the Lord in your life, and you're, you're trusting the Lord, and you seek God, and you really are seeking to live a righteous life, you know, the Lord, and you live an upright life, the Lord fights for us. We're not you know, alone, we're not left on our own, that the Lord, even battles we don't even see, the Lord fights for us. And this is exactly what happened with Haman, um, um, with how he plotted to kill Mordecai and destroy the Jews. He wanted to annihilate the Jews. And God orchestrated the plan. God orchestrated everything. He put Esther in, in the um, right place. And her, her actual first name, I can't remember her first name. I'll have a look and put it underneath here. But her actual first name meant hidden. And her the name that she was given and she took means star. And she, she um, so she had this name Esther. But it's like the Lord hid her. And then she went into the place where she had to be. She was selected as queen. It was all set up by God to save the Jews and Mordecai and they ended up um, so they called the celebration Purim and they uh, celebrated these two days and it was to be an annual celebration rejoicing and the Lord completely turned it around for Mordecai and the Jews that what the enemy meant for evil which was Haman God turned it around for good and the very thing that Haman wished on his enemy which 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 was Mordecai, which was a good man, um, which he hated Mordecai, but the very thing that he wanted to happen to Mordecai, the man of God, is the very thing that he had upon himself. And I want to encourage you with this today to know that as a child of God, whether we know of the battles or not, whether we know what's going on or not, the Lord is orchestrating things in our favour, and we don't even know sometimes. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. But the Lord is orchestrating everything in his, according to his will. No matter what tries to come, no matter what delays try to come, no matter what obstacles try to come, no matter, no matter what enemies try and rise up against the bride of Christ, God steps in and intervenes. Divine intervention. It's real. If you're an unbeliever, it's real. You know, and... This is the this is the portion of a child of God. So rejoice in that. You know, the Lord, you know, he turned it around that Haman was destroyed, that he could no longer seek after the life of Mordecai. Haman is offspring. And there were holidays, two holidays set up for the Jews to rejoice annually. And Mordecai was promoted. He was promoted by God. Haman had to lead um uh, Mordecai through he had to lead him in procession on the horse which he thought was for him and he had to honour the very one he tried to kill he had to honour the one the very one he tried to kill can you imagine can you imagine he had to honour the one he tried to destroy and he had to Lead the horse with Mordecai robed with honor. 
and this isn't a part of the story but this is what did happen in the story if you read it this is the word of god and if you know if you read it before and so rejoice rejoice and know that everything you can entrust into god's hands and you can know that actually you're not on your own it doesn't matter how many people come against you whatever situation you're in be encouraged to know that the lord is fighting for you he's your father and he loves you he'll strengthen you he'll encourage you he'll hold you up through the through the challenges so you can rest in him pray, pray from a place of rest war in prayer from a place of rest knowing that the lord is fighting and he hears and answers, answers your prayers he's mighty supreme he's mighty and supreme and when we call on the lord in prayer the lord will hear our prayer because his ears are open to the prayers of the righteous and he will destroy the works of whatever's trying to come against us whatever thing whatever thing it is that's trying to come in the way no matter how long it takes god will make a way where there's no way and the Lord loves impossible things, impossible situations, because he makes the impossible possible. What we say is impossible. There's no way now. There's no way now. This is impossible. How can this happen? How can this be? The Lord can still make a way. Be encouraged today. I don't know what you're facing today, but know that God can make a way and he can turn it around. He can turn it around just like he did for Mordecai. He can turn it around just like he did for Mordecai and the Jews. Be encouraged today to know that the Lord is fighting for you and that any enemy of the bride of Christ is an enemy of God's. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you fight against those that fight against us and you walk, you contend, Lord, and fight again. And you, what's the word? You, um, The Lord fights against those who fight against us and contends with those that contends with us. I can't remember the exact the Lord fights with those that fight against us and contends with those that contend against us. I'll get the scripture and put it underneath here. But the Lord fights for us. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you fight with you fight with those that fight against us, Lord. And that our enemies are your enemies, Lord. You deal with them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You attack the attackers, Lord. You attack the attackers and you protect your people, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for rising up for those, Lord God, who are going through this, Lord, who haven't been the attackers, who haven't been those who have done things that are not meant, that are not meant to have done, but those who are really, truly the, the, um, have been um, attacked in whatever sh way, shape or form they've been attacked, Lord. I pray, or, or whatever it is that's trying to get in the way, or whatever it is, Lord, that... Um, you know everything, Lord. You know everything. You know everything. The situations with the Mordecais out there, Lord, those who have encountered Haman's situations and are going through this very situation, Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for justice and thank you, Lord God, for deliverance and rescue. Thank you, Lord, that you are um, rebuking and that you are exposing every scheme of the enemy. You are bringing to an end everything. Um, in um, all the things that are not of you, Lord, that need to go according to your word, according to your timing, Lord. Thank you. You never stop fighting for us, Lord, and you're awesome, you're supreme, Lord. We thank you and we rest in you, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord God, thank you. And those, Lord God, the people that are out there, Lord God, who who are on the opposite side of this story, where they are, they are they're, they're the, the opposite of the story, where they're, they're not the Mordecais, but they're the other one. I pray, Lord God, that you would uh, touch them, Lord God, and change them. Change their hearts, Lord. Change their hearts, Lord. I pray for mercy that you would, um, that as they repent, as they turn to you, that, Lord God, I pray for mercy as, as they turn to you and repent and completely stop what they're doing. Thank you, Lord. I just pray for that mercy, Lord. And that you would extend your hand to help them as they repent and completely stop Um what they're doing lord in jesus name you know everything you know lord who this message is for in jesus in jesus precious name we pray amen and amen thank you lord hallelujah amen